Oh, good morning everybody. Although you're probably watching it at a different time in the morning. But for us, it is bright and early on Saturday morning. We're at the beach. Hopefully you can hear me. It's not too windy. But uh, we woke up early and, oh, excuse the bed head. We woke up early because we're gonna try and find some sand dollars and shells and all that kind of stuff that's in the morning before the birds come and snatch them away and all the other jerks who take them. So we'll see what uh, little trinkets we might find. Victory, we have found one. Yeah, a complete one that is not broken and smashed by every bird on the planet. So we found one. I think we can go find some more. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Got another one. Jackpot. Sun dollar cam. All right, guys. <laughs> Score. Check that guy out. This seems so rare. Like, there is not a lot out here. Like, you really have to walk a distance to find this stuff. But when you do, it's pretty cool. So we kind of hit the jackpot. Check it out. A bag full of them. We were a little desperate there for a minute, but then boom, like one, two, three, four, 20. We're rich in sand dollars, dollar dollar bills, yo. <laughs> the thing about navigating around the ocean in the morning, there's all these little pools of water. And so it's like this entirely new game of hopping puddles and not getting your shoes soaked. Sometimes the tide comes in, sometimes you get trapped and you get wet feet and that just happens. But that's the danger of the game. We aim to have dry socks by the end of the day. That's the goal. Okay, I gotta jump this, goodbye. Last full day here and as usual, we have to go back to Pink and pancake for some more delicious food. Delicious <laughs> French toast, gotta have eggs, Eric's all fruit nut, uh -huh. nut. Mm. Mm, breakfast. So today we took a drive up to Astoria, which is uh, northern of Seaside and stuff. It's probably windy, I'm sorry, but we stopped at Fort Stevens, which is an old military place. And we're checking out what's called the, the wreck of the Peter Iredale, which is a boat submerged here off the shore. So let's check it out. And here we are, just right off where we came in, uh, a ship, <laughs> halfway in the sand. Well, most of it is down there and underwater, but this is the part that sticks out. A little rusted, I don't know how old it is, I forget all that stuff, you can Google search that, but. Pretty sweet. Also, this is a beach you can drive on, <laughs> so that's why there's a bunch of cars. We would, but I don't think my car would handle it, plus it'd probably be a little, bad for the engine, just a bit. You can totally drive around here, it's cool. Just don't run into this thing. Guys, we're like literally inside the ship right now. Like, if it were still here. <laughs> nah, there's the front, and then back there's the back. There's more cars driving around. It's cool. All right, so we found the info sign. Pretty much, they were trying to head to Portland, I think, with cargo, and uh, they wanted to be shaving some time off their trip, and they came too close, and a storm pushed them straight into the sand. Uh, nobody died, but uh, that's what happened. And it's the wreck of the Peter Iredale. That's what it looked like when it wasn't all crashed. And now it just sits there forever for us to look at and drive around. Cool story, bro. So we're driving down in Fort Stevens Park and there is an elk right there. Hey, buddy. How's it going? That thing is huge. Looking at you. Hey there, dude. Say hi to YouTube. Okay, goodbye. Nice to meet you. Further into Fort Stevens is still part of the fort actually, and uh, you can see we can go explore, oh, and you can hear the kids, oh no. So we're gonna go through these old military installations and see what's inside, maybe some ghosts, maybe some spiders, I don't know. Checking out the West Battery Command Station. Nice overlook of the, the water and the fort. That is one big gun. I would not like to be in a ship having that thing shooting at me. I'm a fire in my laser. Little could use some maintenance, but uh, pretty well intact. Good view of the ocean and the harbor out from there. Speak friend and the door will open. Name that movie. <laughs> I forget what the other line is though, so I can't test it. Also, the padlock will probably stop it from opening too, but it was worth a shot. So the other ones are closed, but this one's open. We can walk around it and clump in these. Oh yeah, ladder. I'm in. Down periscope or uh, B-52 bomb. It's like a this is Sparta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, flashlight on. <gasps> Too spooky, dude. It's like where they play the whole old ammo. Guys, this is so spooky. <sighs> This is straight up Ghost Adventures, guys. There's like rails on the roof. Oh, dude, this is freaking me out. Help! They need help! <laughs> dun dun dun. Bye, Eric. Goodbye. 
you're trapped in the magazine room. Would you like um, Sports Illustrated or? All right, hell room. Straight up. So this is basically the other room we were in with light. So not as spooky, that's for sure. Don't touch that. It's gonna blow up. Replica of the entire fort. Should we push the button? That didn't happen. It was very anticlimactic. <laughs> Take the tension. So we are walking around that whole area there. Just a miniature version of it. And then we we're right in that building right there. Whoa, they're right above us. Whoa. Fort Stevens, pretty cool. Done walking around, checking it out. Weather's still been nice. It's been cloudy, but at least the weather's cool. What'd you think, Eric? It's cool. So we just drove into the city of Astoria and we're looking for the Goonies house and um, I couldn't find the address on GPS. So we're winging it, although I think I'm going the right way. I think it's right up there. If I found it on a whim like this, I'm gonna be pretty proud of myself, so we'll see. So right after that, I thought we were lost, and so I was like, okay, we're pulling over and looking up the address. Turns out, we're going the right way. We pulled off the right place, and I think actually right up there is where they filmed Kindergarten Cops. So we're gonna pop up there and check that out. But uh, yeah, goodies. Yeah, and if you recognize this building, that's because it's where uh, the movie Kindergarten Cop was filmed with Arnold Schwarzenegger. A lot of our stories are a lot like San Francisco, and they have very like steep, <laughs> Hills and so we just actually found the Goonie house and they don't let you drive up there So you got to walk up on foot, but uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Eric is stoked. Eric loves the Goonies. It's his favorite movie Goonies on foot. Welcome Good we're Goonies on foot and There you have it There's the Goonie house <laughs> You know people live there. I bet they love that. I mean they, they wouldn't put the sign there if they didn't love it, but <laughs> Yeah Welcome to the Goonies and Astoria. Eric, Curry, recite tons of lines. It looks not very special. <laughs> it is special, in my heart, in my heart. So we just took a drive up to the hill to check out the Astoria column, as you can see behind me. And I'm gonna climb up in a second, but check out this view of Astoria. Pretty nice, right? Um, yeah, so we're gonna go hike up the top and hopefully we'll survive and not fall off the top. <laughs> All right, we're heading up. We'll see you at the top. We'll save you the uh, the expense of the... Oh, there's no elevator, dang it. No, we knew it's stairs. Oh, here we go. We've been climbing for like three hours now. It's taking forever. <sighs> Eric, you're so hot. Oh, don't be afraid of heights. <laughs> okay, it has been less than a minute. I'm exaggerating. We're dying and it's pathetic because we're out of shape. We've been like 20, like 24 mile hikes this past few days. So forgive us, please. Pretty great view over there, huh? A little bit windy, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, the story's pretty cool. Now we say goodbye. Oh, we're actually gonna drive over on the bridge, the big bridge over there, okay? I don't know how that's gonna work filming, but we're gonna try it, so we'll see. So as you can see to our left, we're getting on the massive uh, Astoria Bridge, which actually crosses over into Washington, so surprise, we're going to visit Tyler. No, we're not, he's a little too far north. <laughs> oh, there's construction on, so we get to spend a little more time on the bridge. This will be fun. Whoa. Look at that! It's we're pretty high up above that story, which is cool. We're on the left side, OMG! <laughs> that guy smiled like he thought we were taking a picture. <laughs> so he was like, cheese! Oh, you'll see that. Play back in the video, people. Let's go back a little. Straight shot it. There you have it. There's Washington, I think. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna sound like an idiot. <laughs> One of the comments is gonna tell me. Oh well. One last look at the beach for you guys. Don't know when I'll be back here.
It's been fun. Shut the door. Figured now is as good a time as any to wrap up this video. I'm gonna sit on the, the back porch. Yeah, it's been a, a great vacation, a great celebration of finishing college and moving on in my career, and it's been really great to be back here. I hope you guys really enjoyed these past couple videos and all the adventures we had. It's been great, and I haven't edited the videos yet because I'm still here. At the time of this will be uploaded, I've been home by then, but I hope they turned out great and uh, you guys really enjoyed them. And plus, they're just, they're just great memories for me to have, which is just awesome that I can remember this and take you guys along for the journey. What was I gonna say? Oh, leave a comment down below with what your favorite a part of this whole trip was. I'd like to hear what your favorite area we went to was. Hopefully we'll go on more adventures soon. I don't know how soon I'll be to the coast, but we got some other places I want to go, so we'll see if we can make it work. Not much else going on. Um, me and Eric are just going to get some food, and then we pack up, and then we uh, drive home tomorrow, which is Sunday, and the long eight-hour drive, which we're not going to do anything exciting there, so you're not missing out on much. Thank you all for watching. As always, remember to like this video if you like it, not because I tell you. Thanks for following me on Facebook and Twitter in the box below. That's right below this video. Check those out if you want to connect with me and just uh, be a part of the conversation. Thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed this journey. I think I said that already, but I really do mean it, and it's been really great. So thank you all for watching and I'll uh, hopefully see you again soon. Bye.